Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you some information on a piercing that I got that I regret getting. So I hope you guys don't make the same mistake as me. I'm going to uh, spill everything on this piercing because I loved it at first and now I absolutely hate it and it's causing me so much pain and I, I can't. Um, so the piercing that I'm talking about is the surface tragus piercing. This piercing is not as common for obvious reasons. Um, I wanted to, you know, go out of my comfort zone, do something spontaneous, do something different, and get this piercing. I did it. I got the piercing. I showed you guys live footage of me getting the piercing so you guys know the whole process. If you haven't seen it, I will link it below that way you guys can check it out. Do not listen to that Nikki. Do not li don't do when I say go get the piercing, it's cool. Don't get it. Don't get it. In that video, I do mention that the piercer that did my piercing told me that it is a 70 7 0 percent rejection rate of this piercing and i feel like my body is rejecting this piercing um not right away i got this piercing um early february it is beginning of august so it's been how many months is that it's been a good six months wow it's been six months already dang time flies um yeah so it's been six months which is usually around the time that like the healing period ends my um i didn't wait six months to change the the jewelry i uh i waited two months and i went to go get the jewelry changed so i don't know if that has something to do with it um but i had the uh like just regular metal balls at the end like the silver ones and i changed it to get um gems in it I'll, cl I'll do a close-up right now, but um, <clears throat> let me adjust Jeffrey because he's in all my videos. Um, so yeah, I got the piercing, I waited two months, I changed the jewelry, and it's been six months and the piercing hurts so bad. And I, I look at it, I look at myself in the mirror and I feel like the skin in between both of the top and bottom ball I feel like it's you know diminishing like getting smaller and smaller because I feel like there's a lot more room before and now it just looks like there's not that much so I feel like my body is rejecting it which is something it's totally different for me because my body is usually good with piercings. I've had many piercings. None of them have rejected. None of them had formed keloids. Knock on wood for future ones. Um, but this piercing was the first piercing which I ever formed a keloid, which I ever felt like the piercing was rejecting. So this was the per first piercing where I ever experienced those types of problems. Um, and I just want to share that with you guys because I don't know if it's like just me or if it's like it happened to others, but I feel like, hold on, I need to fix my hair. I feel like this piercing isn't that like common to like um, share these types of experiences with. Um, so that's why I wanted to come on here and like basically tell you guys what's been going on with mine because I, I loved it at first, I really did. And uh, yeah, after a while like, I just felt like it was rejecting. It was forming keloids even though I was cleaning it. Um, I'll like zoom in. Oh my god, my hair is like a mess. Um, oh, there's Pua. All right, so. Like, I can't even push it up. Okay, so kind of gross. Um, I clean it every day. I still form like p dry pus on the piercing which is disgusting so that prevents me from like pushing it up and down but i feel like the skin let's see if i can zoom in a little more okay i feel like the skin in between is like getting smaller and smaller oh my god that looks it looks it does not look good um but yeah you can see like it's such a small amount of skin in between 
and it was not like that before like at all so I definitely feel like this piercing is uh, rejecting which is unfortunate because obviously you have to pay for piercings and it sucks when your body like rejects them because that's like a waste of money so um yeah that's what's going on with my piercing um, and the thing is I feel like it's still healing because it's still super sensitive obviously when you hit a piercing it's gonna hurt if you just got it but like other piercings you you hit it like it doesn't hurt obviously because it's healed but my piercing this one like I, I like I bang it I, I hit it I I'll be like cleaning my ears with q-tips and I'll like accidentally like scratch it and it's like oh my hair gets tangled in it which didn't happen in the beginning and like lately it's been happening a lot so that's another thing yeah so my my suggestion is don't get it um if the rejection rate is that high I don't think that you will be the 30 percent that overcomes it or doesn't your body doesn't reject it because that's what I thought I had high hopes that my body wouldn't reject it because all my other piercings have been fine but this was the one the one piercing that I formed keloids and that I felt like my body was rejecting so since my my like it's been barely six months since I got the piercing I have to wait a little longer until it's like healed to take it out because if you take out a new piercing the bacteria will form inside and it'll like obviously your skin will like close and that bacteria will stay stuck in there and that can form an infection and all that so I don't want that to happen so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna like tough it out whether that means it rips out of my skin or it's like it stays the same as it is right now and then I just take it out later like I don't know what's gonna happen it's really upsetting I really like this piercing I thought it was so cute because it's like kind of an ear piercing but not really because it's like on the side of your face nobody else had it so i thought it was cool um but i understand now I, if anything i would probably get a dermal there if piercers are allowed to do dermals because i have my dermal here and it's been there for like four years now when they told me it would only be um it it would pop out within two years and i still have it so i if anything i'd get that obviously not in the same spot because i have i'm gonna have scar tissue but i just wanted to let you guys know do not get a surface tragus i think that's what it's called i still don't know yeah i hit it all the time i my hair gets tangled in it it's not a fun time like even when i'm laying down like and i have my hair down it'll like somehow get around it and went oh god it hurts so bad and uh i don't know my 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 ears like just prone to injury like i don't i don't understand i don't um but i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on i don't want you to think that i got the piercing i loved it and i still love it or that i'm like faking it and trying to be like oh yeah i love it please get it do what i did but I'm, I wouldn't do that. So I want to let you guys know, don't get the piercing. Because this is what will happen, most likely. 70% is a high percent. And I should have not done it. But we're here now. So I will keep you guys updated. If you guys have any questions about the piercing or the process or just anything in general about piercings, I guess. It doesn't have to be about this one. But just in general, if you have any questions, feel free to um, like tweet me on Twitter, message me on Twitter. DM me on Instagram. You can Snapchat me. I will respond most likely. Yeah, if I see it, I'll respond. Or just comment down below with a question and I'll go ahead and respond to you guys because I have nothing to hide. I'm literally an open book when it comes to this. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it did help you make up a decision whether to get it or not. I hope I leaned you in the direction not to get it because I don't want you to suffer like me. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys thought it was helpful. If you did think it was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, and yeah, comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.